that's to there. So can you see there's a 180 degree switch? That is called the parietal notch. Yeah. Uh, so there's this hinge. See, look, it, just doing that, you can see it hinges. Yeah. If I if I put this here and try and turn it that way, it won't move. Yeah. But I can do that, and it easily moves. So one would ask, why is this structure the way it is? And I don't know what explanations. Um, a medic would come up with? I, don't, I actually don't know, or an anatomist. But a craniosacral therapist would say, well that's easy. There's an easy answer to that, because it allows primary respiration, and the temporal bone can uh, roll out and laterally rotate. That can flare out, basically, and then it can inflare. So that allows that movement here. And round the back of the temporal, the opposite is occurring. So basically, you've got a hinge here. This portion moves in inhalation that way, and that bit moves medially, and that's the uh, pivot for the movement. So the parietal notch is acting as the pivot around that. So this area does that, laterally rotates. This area medially rotates. So if you put somebody down on the table, and you put your hands on the mastoids, inhalation would be that, and exhalation would be that. You then slid round to the ears, inhalation would be that, and exhalation would be that. See, see what I mean? So it's complex, and it's complex just in one bone, particularly this bone, actually. Uh, so you've got a number of uh, sort of gear, there's a, there's a gearing going on here. Plus, there's a relationship with the cranial base, isn't there? So you've got this meeting of uh, bones at the sort of centre of the cranium, don't you? So can you see that the uh, temporal petrous ridge angles into the, let's call this, the middle of the cranial base, so the way these two come together, the SVJ, the sphenobasal junction, so you've got this angling in with this thick bony ridge, which obviously houses the senses of balance and hearing. Yeah, and uh, so not only is this kind of doing that, moving externally and internally, it's rolling along an axis, and the axis is the petrous ridge, because it, as an object, it is angled in to the cranial base. It's not just going in. Uh, sideways, so it rolls around that axis like that. That gets its wobbly wheel motion. So from the front, it's not quite as simple as that. Mm -hmm. It's got a rolling motion to it as well, yeah, which creates literally a wobbly wheel action. 